check it out. Or you can do nothing and just stand there and look pretty. <laughs> I think we're I guess that's one way to start a video. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Bro. Hey guys. So tonight we're going to be continuing our search to find my favorite bourbon. And tonight... Wait. Move over. What? Move over. I'm moving. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're getting started early, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead while That's you're talking. Good, good decision. <laughs> you work on that. So we're doing another episode trying to find my favorite bourbon. Jamie is going to go ahead and pour herself some 1910. So tonight's a little bit of an interesting competition because we are at a point... We'll in the keep the bottle over here just in case. Keep it handy. We're at a point in the competition where we don't have any choice in what group to pick. So we have to use this group to get to be able to do the semifinals on this side. So tonight we are going to be going with these five. I know we had a mess up a while back and the Kentucky Spirit, we talked about potentially putting that in this group. I I thought we were done with the mess up. Mm, no, even in the final video, I'll still be, find a way to bring it in to the topic <laughs> of the video. We've got the Wild Turkey Rare Breed here. Don't really feel like we need to have both in the competition side by side because I know that just from my back and forth mm. over the time that I've been drinking bourbon, what was that? I haven't had this in a while. It's That's been, true. When did we last film together? Oh, Guys, a we week were... week and a half, two weeks ago? Yeah, but we just went away for the weekend. I had all my little cocktail drinks. <laughs> a lot of cocktail drinks. <laughs> Some yeah. Moscato. I mean, you name it, I probably had it, but I didn't have any bourbon no, at all. Mm -mm, not a single drop. So, I was you're, ready you're, for You're this. ready for it? Good. Yeah. I'm glad. But we ended up deciding to not do that because six-way tastings are a bad idea for David. Yeah, really bad. The Wild Turkey Rare Breed, in my opinion, is better than the Kentucky Spirit. We're going to kick the Kentucky spirit to the curb. Well, one of the benefits of the way the competitions worked out tonight with us not being able to like double blind this, mm -hmm. I don't have to leave the room. I can be with you when we pour, we can pull out the Glen Cairns together. We can pour them and then I'll step out for a second when you mix them up. I guess if you want to do it that way. Or do you want me to leave just so you have your own time? <laughs> no, go ahead. Let's, let's, let's do this together. You sure? Yeah. I feel like I just came to drink and eat. <laughs> Are you, might, are you complaining? I might move. Are you complaining? I might move some things around the table, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> why don't you introduce the contestants tonight, Jamie? Show me how you do it when All I'm right. gone. We got Smoke Wagon. Uncut, unfiltered. What? That's the name of the bourbon. Is Smoke Wagon Uncut, Unfiltered? Jeez, this is why I don't like you being in here. I know. All right, Sam Houston. Fourteen year. <laughs> Hey, we Go make ahead. a good team together. Bookers. 2020 or 2018-02 Backyard Barbecue. <laughs> We've got Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. <laughs> Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Barrel Proof. No, you just had to do rare Kentucky breed. Straight Bourbon. No. Whiskey no. Barrel Proof. Master. 750 ml. Something. Jimmy Russell. Stop. <laughs> you don't have to read the whole label. Just like... Okay. There's my... there's not enough and then there's too much. Jamie, All right. Okay? Do you want the big pour or the little pour? The big one? pour. Yeah, we want really? the ounce and a half. All right. So we had been doing two ounce pours in these five ways, but I've decided to try to cut it back to 1.5 ounce pours because I was kind of leaving too much. Can you start handing them to me at least? <laughs> I thought this was your job. I feel like you're a roadblock or something. Are you going to sit there and stare at me? Why don't you talk to I'm your, ins I'm talk to your friends? <laughs> uh, somebody did ask in a comment the other day. I noticed a video. I didn't get a chance to respond, so sorry for that. You talked about uh, does she shake them out uh, between you know the pours into the bottle and and not really and is it gonna affect things that much I don't know this isn't like I'm not trying to tell you guys what the like the best bourbon of all time is or the best bourbon in my collection this is just what what I like to drink what's my favorite yeah your preference and honestly I mean I shake it out a little bit when I'm like pouring I tap it and I really don't think that it it makes a humongous difference. I don't either, but you know. Nobody get mad at me. <laughs> you're gonna get so many comments now, Jamie, I know, right? About how it's critical to the tasting of bourbon. And there may be, like I said, it may be a subtle variation, but honestly, when I'm just drinking, for myself anyway, it's not like I'm, you know, measuring things and I haven't shook it out or dried out the bourbon in the glass before I switch to a different one, so. It's, it's kind of nerve wracking yeah, having you in here at the same time as I'm trying to pour. I'm like, okay, Okay, I gotta pull this up right and like do this right. Oh, is this the paper that you didn't need and you threw on the floor? Is there a lock on that thing? <laughs> oh 
what? What are you talking about? You better be nice this time. He's actually coming in from time out. Feel you're, like- You're putting I, a hurting on that bottle. I was about to say, like, what am I gonna do when it runs out? I see oh, me I drinking probably three more episodes. No, that's like three pours. You, you, that's what I'm saying, three more, and I usually have one. You don't have one an episode. I do too. You better go start standing outside a ABC store and get me some. I will. It's part of my job. I love how he thinks that. No, I have it to is. Do this. It is. It, it's for all of you guys. I really, really want a stag <laughs> You're just junior. Taking one for the team. I really want a stag junior. <laughs> this one smells really sweet on the nose. Some brown sugar, caramel, a little bit of barrel char. Not getting much proof on that one. It smells it smells really good. You'd almost smell it. Like the smells. Smell it. I think I'd like the smell. Yeah, I'm Probably not, sure you'd not like the, the taste. taste, but we'll see. Let's see. Let me taste it and I'll tell you. Not what I was expecting. You would not like that. Yeah, on the palate, that's got a lot of black pepper spice, hint of clove, woodiness, and, and some rice spice in there. It tastes a little on the younger side to me. It's pretty good. It's like well balanced. Like the first sip was a little bit of a shock. It's the first bourbon I've had today. Isn't that cool? Our name's on it. <clears throat> Whiskey rope. Well, I, I think I think that I took the name from them because I really like the old Forester Whiskey Row line, and Whiskey Row obviously mm -hmm. in Kentucky is a famous uh, you know row of distilleries. All right, the second one has a lot a lot of butterscotch and honey, and it's got some floral notes. So on that one, there's a, a strong clove. There is a little bit of an herbalness. The first one has a tinge of woodiness, but this one has a woodiness as well, but it's not unpleasant. And that that kind of butterscotch, like burnt caramel. This competition is a lot of mid proof and high proofs. This uncut is in the 115s. Yeah, this one is 113 proof. That one's 94 proof. 94, not too The bad. Booker's is 128 proof, 98 proof. So it's almost underproof. And then wild, this wild turkey where it breeds 116. That has a really strong like wood char characteristic. <laughs> yeah, so this one smells a lot like your traditional caramel and vanilla. There's not much past that. It's just a lot of sweetness. I really got to find my next bottle. <laughs> Especially if we run out of that. If you start to run out of 1910, I'm going to buy you another. We're going to buy another bottle of 1910. I really like 1910. I'm not going to let it run out. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> So this one on the palate has this this nice blend of sweet with some herbal and floral. It's not particularly high proof. It's got an okay finish. Yeah, there's a hint of an herbalness underneath that. The herbal part you may not like. Yeah, I usually, if it's not desserty. Yeah, it's not desserty. It's well balanced. So this one on the nose, it's like a little bit of a maple syrup, but it's a hint of caramel as well. So it's like a maple syrup, almost like a little bit of a sawdust smell. Mm. It's very, very faint. It's not, it's not unpleasant. It's not like it's gross smelling. Let a little bit of a hay. It. There's a little bit of a hay on there too. Okay. That's really weird because I notice a sawdust smell. Like it's just kind of like lingers. Yeah. I don't it's know. so it's, weird. It is weird. I don't, I don't know which of these would have a sawdust smell. Well. Ooh, this one's very herbal. A lot of clove, black pepper, a lot of spice on this one. Good. I like it. It's got a lot of character, but it's not what I would call a traditional delicious bourbon. It's got a little bit of an attitude, a little bit of fire. It's got a medium finish. So on this one, I'm getting almost like a really, really subtle cinnamon. There's like a maple, like a maple syrup with a touch of cinnamon, touch of herbalness. This one's really interesting. I have a, I'm having a really hard time picking out the, 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 the nose on this one. It doesn't smell particularly high proof. Or that one. So that one's got a little bit more proof to it. It definitely has a hint of herbalness, a lot of black pepper spice, a little bit of wood char, not, not super strong. It's kind of subtle on there. It's got a decent finish. It's got a little kick to it, a little proof, a little attitude on this one too. Gone through them once and I am kind of at a loss to be honest. I thought I'd be able to pick a lot of these out. I thought I'd pick on the, you know, the Jim Beam and the Bookers and I thought I'd pick up on the tur wild turkey turkiness. I thought I'd pick up on the smoke wagon and the Sam Houston. I, and and the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, I thought I'd pick up on all of them really quick. I'm at a loss. I okay. really don't know which is which. <laughs> Look at this ice cube. So on Amazon, I bought one of those like one and a half inch stainless steel <laughs> ice cubes to, to try to cool the bourbon without, uh, without watering it down. Now my ice cube and cup game are matching. True matching stainless steel. <laughs> 
That's cool. I haven't even gotten to try them yet. I bought, we we got them in the mail and then we oh, left. Oh, I know. And... I saw them. I was like, is David going to be mad that I'm the first? Kind of. I'm a little salty, to be honest. I was going to ask you, out of all these bourbons over here, which one, because I know usually when you do a taste yeah. testing, you always are like, man, I thought such and such was going to win. So I'm wondering, out of these guys, what do you think... What would you like to see win? From my biased From opinion and not, you know, I have my rankings done, so I know what order which glass is, but I still don't know which bottle is which. Right. Or which bottle is in which glass. I would probably say the ones that I, the two that I would want to advance would be the Elijah Craig Toasted oh. and the, probably the Sam Houston 14. If I were to predict the outcome, I think number one is going to be Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Because of the toasting, and it tends to be a sweeter bourbon, lower proof, and, and I know that in this competition I've tended to go with lower proof stuff, so I'm kind of kind of thinking that I'm going to put this one in first place. I think the Sam Houston number two, Booker's three, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, and then, and then Smoke Wagon in last place. Hmm. That's what I think the outcome is going to be based on my prior experiences, preferences, etc. Number five tonight. <laughs> five. And then four, three, two is this one. One is this one. This was a, you know, I always talk about like the competition was hard. Well, it, this one was hard, although it was different. I was having a hard time picking up the, the palette on a lot of these and the flavors and distinguishing things. Sometimes you overanalyze things too. So I think knowing what the bottles are, mm. you were probably playing around in your head a lot, like wondering. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I think that's a, that's actually probably really true. You know me well. Number five is Booker's. Number four is ooh, Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Oh no. <laughs> You love it when I get I confused. I love it when you mess up. It's fun. <laughs> Number three is Smoke Wagon. I really did Smoke Wagon uncut and filtered on top of Elijah Craig. Was this the one that I said smelled like sawdust a little bit? I think so. Yeah, it was because I looked and I'm like, oh, that's maybe why. Number two is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Number one is Sam Houston 14, hopefully. So Sam Houston 14 year came out on top tonight. I shouldn't be too surprised because I just opened a Sam Houston 15 year over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And wow, that was amazing. Uh, I took a picture of it, posted on Instagram. Remember that? The Wild Turkey Rare Breed came in second. I shouldn't be too surprised because I've always liked the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I thought that this was the Wild Turkey for a while in the tasting, so I'm not actually surprised this came in second because I was like, this is pretty good, and it's I think it's Wild Turkey. Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered kind of lives up to the hype. I know it's kind of like a darling child in the bourbon community right now. It's it's really tasty. I guess the real surprise tonight was the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I really thought that was going to come in higher tonight. It's really falling flat for me tonight. Can you have some of your 1910? Nope. Let me just taste it. No. You tasted it I, the, before. The, the viewers this is of a YouTube. Five way tasting. I know, but the viewers. Not a six. The viewers want to know how the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel compares to the 1910. It's better. I, I can't tell them if you don't let me taste it. That bourbon is cold. I know. That cue really worked well. The 1910 definitely has a kind of a darker caramel sweetness to it. That Booker's Backyard Barbecue is not good tonight. It's really high proof, but it's coming off very, very grassy. There is, I'm now that I know it's Jim Beam, I am picking up a little bit of a nut taste, uh, but it's got a good sweetness, but there's kind of this little bit of an offness to it. And I don't know how to describe it. I'm really surprised by that. I guess that would also be a disappointment for you tonight because normally I kind of like the Bookers at, at $90. It's expensive, but I still kind of like it. So the Sam Houston 14 year and the Wild Turkey Rare Breed are going to advance to the next round. A little surprised by some, uh, not surprised by others. Very excited to see the Wild Turkey Rare Breed and the Sam Houston 14 advance to the semifinals on this side. Well, before we say goodnight, wanted to thank all the Patreons and all those who go to whiskeyrow.shop and buy merchandise. Special thanks to all of you guys for supporting us directly as you do. For all of you that watch the videos, thank you so much. We love spending time with you. And until next time, find a bottle you love. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hey, everybody. So we are... Yeah, please do, please. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> David's made me do this like three times because he says I'm too enthusiastic. I'm a paid actress. <laughs> I pay you in bourbon and crackers. <laughs> I'm not really David's wife. Elephant juice, elephant juice. What? Don't you say that? To, isn't that what you say when um, you sneeze and you're trying not to sneeze again? Here, my In just one second, I'm just literally about to cut and do the tasting. <sighs>
Your mama's so nasty. <laughs>